Final Fantasy XIV as an MMO is easy to get into and learn, and it does have its own way of teaching you the game. However, it hides so many neat tricks and features that even veterans miss out on. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Dying Legacy, and I have over 30 of these tips to share with you, starting with the settings and the little things you might miss. So let's get started. Do you know you can turn off the cutscenes that you've already seen? You can find this in the character settings under the general tab. This is handy when you're tired of skipping those dungeon cutscenes. You can also change how your items get sorted in your bag. You can find V settings in the character configuration settings under the item settings. Might make things a little bit easier to organize. Are you on a schedule or are you wondering what time of the day it is on your server? It might help changing your time settings. You can show your local time, your service time or even your Eorzean time. You can change these settings in your character configuration under UI settings in the HUD tab. This will help keep track of how long you've actually been playing. Have you ever gotten lost in the ambient music of a zone, but your mount music keeps disrupting your relaxing adventure? Well, in the system configuration under sound settings, you can turn off mount music, so you can always enjoy the ambience without the thoughts of chocobo racing. Have you ever tried to move backwards only to literally walk backwards? Well, you're probably using standard movement. There's a second type of movement you can use called legacy movement. Legacy movement uses the camera more for movement and it can be far easier for some to use. You can find this setting in the character configuration in the control section under the general tab. Try it out, see how it goes for you. If you have an issue with the tab targeting being all over the place, you can change it to cone targeting in the character configuration in the control settings under targeting. It'll target what's in front of you in the form of a cone. This makes things a lot easier when you're trying to find out who and what you're actually trying to target. Another handy targeting trick is to limit ground targeting range. By default, you can pass targeting range when using placeable ground spells. However, when limited, it'll only go as far as its max range. Should make things easier when you're doing the main scenario duties. This is also in the control settings under targeting. Okay, last settings tip. Do you find your cooldown timer is a little small? Well. If you go to your character configuration and go to the hotbar display and change the recast timer from bottom to center, the center setting is much larger and easier to see than the bottom setting. This way you'll have no problem keeping up with your recast timers. So that covers the setting tips, but what about a few chat commands? Do summoners pets take up your screen? Well, they don't have to. If you type slash pet size all small, it'll make them all small. Medium is the normal setting, but you could type large as well. This only affects what you see though, so don't worry about disrupting anyone else's game. If you type lower than, POS, greater than, it'll give you a coordinates, which is extremely handy when you need a res and you need to let someone know what bush you're lying in. Ever lose something in your inventory and can't quite remember if it's in your saddlebags or inventory or on a retainer? If you type slash item search and the name of the item, it'll tell you where it is or if you have it in the first place. You'd be surprised how many times you think you'd have something that you don't. Earlier I told you how to turn off mount music, but what I didn't tell you was that there was a chat command to turn it off and on, which is slash mount BGM. You can also type slash BGM to mute or unmute all background music, you know, for when you're watching or listening to other things. Retainers are handy, let's be honest, they're integral. And of course, this comes with a few tricks and tips. First tip for retainers, when you click venture complete, you'll get a little pop-up that says reassign or confirm. You have already completed the venture and you've gotten the XP and the rewards, but reassign will send your retainer back out on the exact same venture. Useful if you're farming a particular venture or you really don't want to be doing it manually, which can be a bit slow. When selling items through the retainer and you reach the screen to choose your price, you can go to the little cogwheel up top of the menu that says compare prices. This will show you the prices on the market boards. That'll save you some legwork. So you don't actually have to go to a market board yourself. The map is something you'll see more of than most in the game. But did you know if you hold control, it will place the A to right icons above everything else so it's easier to see and click. Also, if you control click anywhere on the map, it'll place a flag marker and it'll also paste its position into your chat for your party to see. That will make it even easier for them to find your body lying in a bush. Moving on to just general tricks that are useful. When using the HUD layout to move everything about, if you hold shift, everything you move will grip to the grid, makes things easier to line up rather than freehanding it. If you right click your chat tabs, you can hide the whole chat. To get it back, just press enter. Handy if you're just taking pictures of your overall UI. 
I don't want anyone to see what your FC are chatting about today. You can also press R to auto run. You can also hold both left and right click to auto run as well. This is just handy when you have other things to do. You can change the camera height by holding control and using the direction pad. This is handy when fighting a boss who's a little too tall and you just can't see where they are properly. When having to hand quest items in, if you right click the item image in the hand in panel, it'll give you a pop up to auto deposit the item. This saves you so much time from rooting in your bags and your inventory. And I went through at least three expansions before finding this out. If you like to emote a lot, you can stop it from appearing in chat by ticking the box at the bottom of the emote menu. Just if you want to keep things visual rather than RPing it. That way you're not disrupting yourself if you're also trying to keep up with a chat. And you can even sort your emotes by clicking the cogwheel at the top right. If you've ate right tickets and want to use them automatically, just click the cogwheel on top of the teleport menu. This way you can set them to be used automatically. Just so it's not asking you every time you try to teleport if you'd like to use one. Does exiting a duty when it's complete take up too much of your time? Easy. Instead of running to the portal, just open your duty finder and click leave. It's the same as using the portal, just quicker. For the healers out there, do you know how to use a Suna? No? Well, when you see a debuff with a bright blue line over it, that can be dispelled with a Suna. Now, Save the tank from poison. Want to survive longer than a second after being revived? Don't use a skill or an action when revived because you get a little buff called Transcendence, which makes you almost invincible. It lasts for a few seconds, but you lose it if you cast a spell or use an action. So use your time wisely to run away to safety. Do you know you can set your own in-game alarms? If you go to your actions menu where all your skills are and go to the extras tab, now you can. Now you can be on time to live life outside Eorzea. On a lot of items you pick up, it shows a sell price at the bottom of the tooltip. That's not how much you actually sell it for, but how much you can buy it for, and it lets you know that a vendor does sell it somewhere. This tip's also guild-based. When visiting other worlds, you are free to buy from the market boards and vendors. You just can't sell anything. And who knows, you might find some deals, as every server's economy is different. If you want to see a recent players list, maybe you want to friend someone who you met in a duty, if you go to your socials menu and click the contacts, that is your recent players list. So enjoy and get friending. If you struggle to find people in the duty finder at a respectable amount of time, you can toggle what languages people speak to search for. You can find this at the top of the duty menu. Toggle them all on so you have a lot more player choice. And finally, tip number 33. I know I said 30, but you got three bonus ones. This one's also a money saver. You can buy Glamour Prisons and Venture Coins from your grand company for company seals. And you can also buy them from Wolven Pier for wolf marks. No need to spend gill at a market board anymore. I have spent so much gill. And that's it. 33 helpful tips to give you a hand in your adventure. If you have any tips yourselves, why not comment below? And be sure to like and subscribe while you're down there. Especially if I've helped you out or told you something you didn't know. Thanks for watching guys and I appreciate the support. If you happen to be looking for more MMO content, you can find me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Legacy. We play MMOs over there, at a lot of them. I mostly get lost. Anyway, I've been Dying Legacy and as always, take care and keep being awesome.